In order to download and set up Eclipse, go to google.com and type download Eclipse Oxygen for Java E developers. I'm going for the version that is called Oxygen. You can select any other version of your choice. In the search result, we can find the links where it provides the specific Eclipse package. And these are the download links for different uh, operating systems. I'm going to use this Windows 64 bit. So I can click over here. The download has started. Now the download is completed. Let me go to the folder where the software is downloaded. And we can place this particular software into a location where we want it to be. And I'm placing this into a particular directory. You can place it anywhere you want. So I have moved that particular zip version to C underscore all softwares folder. So let me extract the zip version of this software to this current directory. So I'm selecting 7-zip and I'm clicking on extract here. In case you don't have 7-zip, you can use this particular option of extract all. Now, once the entire software is extracted, it creates a directory called Eclipse. There we have all the required packages and everything. This is the icon by which we can run the Eclipse. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a shortcut of this particular icon at desktop so that we don't need to come to this location every time we want to run Eclipse. As you can see over here, this is the shortcut that I have created. Now, if I click on this, Eclipse will start. One important thing is before Eclipse installation, you should have your Java already installed. In my case, Java is already installed. So after that, I am setting up Eclipse. Here I have clicked the icon and Eclipse is a starting and it provides a default workspace. What you can do, you can select this default option. In my case, I have already created one default location where I will point it to. Click on OK. And it has taken the workspace that I have provided. Click on Launch. Now, as you can see over here, the Eclipse is set up properly and it's showing the default uh, page or the screen. So from here on, you can create projects or you can import projects, whatever you want. So the Eclipse installation is done.